Hi guys, and welcome to another video with me, Duke Doom. Now, I was going to do a more elaborate video, but uh, I feel that I need to explain this a little bit. Uh, I got a virus on my laptop, so I had to like wipe it clean and go back to factory setting. And uh, when I did that, uh, all of my programs disappeared, of course. <laughs> and among them, Windows Movie Maker, which I used to edit these videos. This one is filmed on my on my uh, phone, actually. And as you can see, the picture quality ain't the best, and I don't really know if the sound will be that good either. Anyway, uh, I lost all my programs and as most of you know by now I live on an island and I don't have like a regular internet connection that I kind of pay once a month and I can use it indefinitely. I have I think it is 150 gigabyte of internet each month that I can use before it has to be refilled and I was uh, downloading some of the programs that I lost and I realized that uh, Windows Movie Maker was about 10 gigabytes of memory which <coughs> I'm sorry which is way too much right now if I do that, I won't be able to upload any videos <laughs> because I will run out, run out of internet. So I'm sorry that I couldn't make any more elaborate video for you right now. I might be able to, like, not refill my internet, but uh, add gigabytes to it. That depends on if I get any money right now. I'm so broke, I haven't actually eaten correctly in like two days. I've eaten mostly macaronis and ketchup. But if I manage to do that and I can download uh, uh, the programs that I need, I need to download Audacity too because uh, my Blue Yeti microphone you have to have a special program for that to work. I don't know if many of you might not know this, uh, but uh, the Jetty you can't just connect into a USB port on your camera, for example, or phone or anything like that. You have to like connect it to your laptop or computer, and then you have to start recording the sound on your laptop. And then when you edit the video, you have to mute the actual video that you filmed and put on the track from the Blue Diad instead. And it's really, it's really complicated to like exactly put it in the right place so you won't get that 70s Kung Fu thing you know where the sound comes first and you move your lips afterwards <laughs> it's a little bit finicky but uh, I, I think I've kind of managed to uh, to fix that or to time it so anyway uh, it's fall in Sweden it's uh, still warm at least some days it's it's warm <laughs> it's not like minus degrees or anything today I think it was 15 degrees Celsius or something maybe 80 but uh, the leaves are turning yellow and falling from the trees and uh, yeah the tourists has, made, has pretty much left the island by now you still have some people that like show up and walk around but uh, not that many so the island is preparing to like rest until uh, until uh, next summer oh and i what the hell is that it's a little 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 spider <laughs> oh 
I won't hurt you, buddy, but please don't be in my bed. <laughs> Old house, spider webs, cobwebs, uh, spiders. Anyway, what else can I tell you? Uh, a little bit about my health. Those lumps that I had over here are still present, but uh, they move around and I think they actually have shrunk. So, uh, and I am going to get an x-ray of them, even though uh, they're probably nothing dangerous, but for peace of mind, I want to check them out. But I don't have a valid ID. And that costs money too, uh, and you can't get an x-ray without an ID, because you have to identify yourself at the hospital, so uh, yeah, that will have to wait. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, <laughs> I have some role plays that I have been uh, thinking about. It's a little bit hard coming back when you have kind of haven't done anything uh, that elaborate for a while, you know, but I feel like I want to, uh, but, but as, I, I said, as I said earlier, I have IDs and I was going to make one, uh, but almost all my props are gone. Uh, don't ask me how that happened, I lost my fangs. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> I think they kind of fell down under a sofa or something, and then I forgot about them and I accidentally vacuumed them. <laughs> so I, uh, if I'm going to come back, I really need to, like, <laughs> fix that. <laughs> uh, because vampire uh, role plays are one of my favorites to do. I don't know why I'm drawn to the darkness, I guess. <laughs> So what else? Have I seen any good movies lately? No. Uh, I so I watched uh, Haunted Mansion, Disney's second attempt at uh, filming their ride, and that movie was okay. It is nothing that I will remember for the rest of my life, not vividly anyway. But it was a fun Halloween movie, I guess. Pretty cool effects, great music, but uh, it had some kind of added story of a father who grieved his wife and blah blah blah. You know, there were a little bit too many sad scenes in it, which like contradicted the other other goofy side of it. It didn't really match. Uh, let's see, I saw Exorcist Believer. <laughs> I won't even go into that movie, man. It wasn't necessary to make a sequel. And, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm lost for words when it comes to that. It's, it really sucked, it did. I watched The Nun 2. All, oh, that's, oh, that was also one of those... Um, Three out of five movies, it didn't like destroy me because it was so bad, but it wasn't so good that I remembered it. If you ask me now, I, I, I have hard time remember what it was about, something about the nun possession, the guy possessing the guy from, from part one or something. And, uh, the only thing that, that, that I found amazing was that uh, Tysa Farming, I think that's her name, uh, I think she's a kid sister to to uh, the other Farmiga, Vera Farmiga, eh? who plays in The Conjuring, and she looks like a grasshopper or an ant. I don't know. I, she's not ugly, but she she looks really funny. She looks a little bit like a, like Benjamin Cricket or something. Jiminy Cricket, sorry. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, I've actually seen something that uh, I didn't realize would ignite my love for Star Wars and that is Asuka, the TV series with uh, Rosario Dawson, Mikkelsen, I don't remember, Lars Mikkelsen and uh, Natasha, Natasha, 
Louis Bordizzo, I think her name is, or plays Sabine. That one actually brought back the fun of watching Star Wars. Although it felt a little bit like Lord of the Rings, they really embraced the fantasy aspect. Now, some people call Star Wars science fiction, but I've never seen the science in it. For me, it's just fantasy, more or less. Space fantasy. And uh, they really, 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 really uh, embraced that part in Ashoka. And unfortunately, Ray Stevenson, who plays Balan Skull, the um, yeah, not main antagonist, is more like a grey yet I passed away earlier this year and uh, his arc in the series is pretty much unsolved by this point so I don't know how they're going to do that in uh, season 2 because I really really hope they make the season 2 and I loved everyone in that series uh, I loved Asuka Rosario Dawson I loved uh, Sabine she's my kind of girl <laughs> And uh, the girl who plays her, Natasha Louis Borgizzo, is is so cute. It's uh, yeah, she's uh, she's a real cutie pie. And it was fun. Uh, it was action-filled. It didn't feel like I don't know how to put it, uh, but uh, you know, uh, it didn't feel forced. <laughs> No pun intended. It, it, it flowed really good and I really hope that they will release it on Blu-ray so I can watch it again because I don't like to stream. Uh, so yeah, I recommend Ashoka uh, if you like Star Wars and especially if you, if you like Star Wars Rebels. Other than that, uh, I don't know really what more to say. Uh, if you want to help me, uh, I have my Patreon going still, and uh, it helps a lot. If you like this video, maybe share it. I don't know what you're going to say it's about. It's maybe soft speaking nonsense. But uh, leave a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, because there will be more. I love you guys. You mean a lot to me. Uh, it's always fun to see your comments, even though I don't really, well I try to, to answer as many as I can, but, but I, I'm always busy with something, so I often just leave a heart, you know. Anyway, uh, remember there can't be any light without darkness. I will see you in the next video, and I wish you, wherever you are in this big wide world, a good night.